The ride will take one hour, I think in 10 minutes. I'm honestly going to write a negative review. I bought my ticket. The ticket is 23 euros, so that's basically about $25. Um, 23 euros. I didn't buy it online. You could buy it online if you want. You probably should. Um, this is not the fast ferry. The fast ferry leaves at 12. On my way back, that's the one I'm going to try to take. Also, there is a time difference between Albania, though it's like 30 minutes away, and <coughs> Greece. Um, it's a one hour time difference. So, yeah, I'm sitting in the ferry terminal, waiting for the ferry. It's at one o'clock. And yeah, I'll go over to Albania, have a hotel. Let's see what happens over in Albania. Alright, so heading into the ferry now. It is late. Um, you obviously see over there, there is a group that is just coming in. Um, there are cars obviously that go onto the ferry. By the way, there's a fast ferry. That's not the one I'm going on. I'm going on the ferry that is bas basically an hour yeah so this is going to be a great view um ferry to albania it's going to be an hour and 10 minutes this is the port there's the cruise ship behind there aida um and again cars come on here yeah let's see what we see on the way the ferry to Albania um, the ride is going to take one hour <laughs> have music playing Travis Green it's Sunday gotta get gotta feed the soul but it um, the ride will take one hour I think in 10 minutes again the ferry is very 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 late I made it to Soranda, Albania, and I'm gonna give you a tour of this room. Um, listen, this 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 looks like a bustling, lively city. It looks like a city <laughs> that you know I would recommend you come into. This is the year they have seen the most people so far. Soranda is supposed to be cheaper than. And I think this hotel does that. If you look over there, it's basically kind of what it makes you up. And it may give you some sort of memory of some of the cities, some of the buildings. Sky rise buildings along the coast. Um, yeah, so this is Soranda. The Hotel El Primer, Prim, Prim, Primero. Let's go to the bathroom. It's modern, it's modern, it's hip. Um, The bathroom. I actually haven't checked it out as yet. 
Okay. All right. Go ahead. El primero. Hmm. And the toilet. Well, the bathroom is a little bit small, but it is modern. It is nice. Um, so this is it. This is the tour of the of the room. I I I like it. I feel I'll be comfortable here. We're gonna test the Wi-Fi. We're gonna see if this hotel <laughs> is uh, has good Wi-Fi because, as you guys have have been following along and you've been seeing. Um, the Grand Royal Hotel in Corfu. Beautiful scenery, beautiful view. I mean, the planes landing, the planes taking off. Loved it. However, the, the, the Wi-Fi sucked. It wasn't working. And everywhere in Corfu, I mean, at the port to get here, the Wi-Fi wasn't working, which is why I had to pay $40 to T-Mobile for, for an international plan. As you guys would know by now, I generally don't do that because the, the Wi-Fi or the internet, the service that T-Mobile provides always suffice, um, but because I had nothing and I needed to do like a lot of major things like figure out the excursion for that day or I've been on a posting schedule usually because I'm in Europe when I get home late at night I post to YBT and I was hoping that a lot of those things would be done on Wi-Fi and I couldn't do any of it but aside from posting to Instagram or even checking out Instagram because I could have gone on an Instagram fast um, the fact that I simply couldn't do anything look up any information if I wanted maps I couldn't do that beforehand it was slow so that's why I did that so I'm gonna check the internet and I'm gonna let you know what and how it is. All right, stay tuned for more. <laughs> hotel is a far way from the hotel in Greece. I just turned on the TV and I remember the TV in Greece literally had um, like, it was just blank. I don't know what I was supposed to do, but this is in English. It seemed like if I had Netflix, I, which I'm, I have my sister's Netflix, I could sign in. You could watch YouTube on here, you know? Like, listen, that's the basic of, that's just the basic, even YouTube. So basic. <sighs> they don't need to put cable in hotels. They don't need that anymore. Most people have their Netflix and they'll sign in. Or most people have their YouTube and they'll sign in. Okay, I'll be at home for the next two nights. <laughs> Albania. So I've made it out to the beach just to relax. Um, this is what I, I mean, I think if anything, I may just stay on the beach the end. A lot of the time, again, tomorrow I'm supposed to be going to Casa Mil, um, get some shots there, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try to go in the water a little bit later. Got me a beer. Crap, I should have him open the beer, but yeah. The beach is are very rocky so this is obviously why people go to the Caribbean the beach or you know Asia where there are sand beaches um, and so literally my foot yesterday I, I think I got on the wrong side of the um, the partition because they, they, they barred it off they had some yellow buoys there I didn't notice that and I did feel like the the, the, the I did feel like the ocean was pushing me to like the left or it was really pulling me and I couldn't get a hold of myself but um, and which is which is actually why I got out of the water because I, if I just really felt like 
the ocean was pushing me and I couldn't control myself um, but and then I think I just I stepped on a lot of rocks there was a lot of rocks there and so basically right now my foot is hurting <laughs> I went into the water earlier today. I really couldn't stand there because it's also still very much rocky here. I do have um, water shoes, but I keep forgetting to bring them out of my suitcase. Hopefully tomorrow when I go to Casa Mill Beach, I will bring them out and actually use them. But yeah, it's chill, it's nice. Nice scenery, nice views. Just a different scenery. Um, Maybe Casamel may, may, may be very different. Powder, I did hear that, that it has powdered sand. These are very rocky, right? So hopefully Casamel has a different vibe. Um, yeah, probably gonna go to the room now, try to get something to eat a little bit later, but yeah, this is Saranda. Albania. Well, I think I told you guys about the whole pan situation, the whole situation about um, the whole situation about going into the water with the wrong pants actually I don't think I did so basically I went into the water with these pants I got these pants from Hollister you know they are they're short enough that they could be used for swim trunks but they're not swim trunks they're just regular trunks that you um, you use to <laughs> hello they're just regular trunks that you use to go about you know they're sure it's a good summer's trunks and I went in and when I went in I realized that when I came out everything was showing <laughs> and so it was honestly in that moment that I realized oh there is a reason why there is a separation between swim trunks and regular trunks I don't think I've ever been to the beach with um, with the regular trunks. I, generally, I usually have um, swim pants, swim trunks. And most of the times, yeah, when I go into the water, it's regular. I have swim trunks on. So now, that's when I recognized um, there was a huge difference. So, I said I didn't know how see-through this pants would be. I actually thought it would stand up. But, yeah. But basically, so... You live, you learn. This is the hotel, as you, you're seeing. This is um, the pool here. It's the El Primero Hotel. Um, I ordered, you know, beer, water, and a cappuccino. I'm going to try to get dinner a later. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs, shower, go walk the street to see if I can get dinner. All right, so I'm getting ready for dinner and. I call downstairs to ask for to ask for sorry. Hello Yes Well, the pi so, but the payment already went in, and it was made for one. I I'm only one person. I don't think it is written there, Mara. I I I've read that. Um, so if it, if it's only one, what then happens? 
and then I could cancel. Well, that's what would have to happen because I'm not paying for two people when I'm only one person. And And I would get a full refund. Sorry? And I will be getting a full refund. Yes, yes. And can you send me that again? Be because I did not see that anywhere in. Yes, I will. I will. Do you have WhatsApp on December? Yes. And how long will that money take to come back? Because that is... I, I really don't know that, but let's how we have to see the other time. You, um, where did you say that information is located? The, the additional information part. Because I'm looking at trip, because I think I booked it via trip. Just Okay, um, yeah, because, so, and send it through TripAdvisor because that's what I, I book through, because honestly, if I don't see it, I'm honestly going to write a negative review, but, um, but do send, send, no, I'm saying, do send me that information, because again, I booked it through TripAdvisor, and I did not see that, yes. but if, if I don't see it, I'm honestly going to write a negative review because I just think that is completely there is nothing for us to write. So no problem. I will send it to you. There's no need for anything like that. No, I mean Yeah, send that to me. I'll 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 look it over. Thank you. And and, and so when are you gonna do the refund? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Anyway, I can't. I, I shouldn't. That's what you know. I shouldn't have asked myself. You should have sent me all the information. That's what you know. Okay. But I'm doing anyway. So just to keep an eye on you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye there needed to be two people and it is written it's written wherever I booked it that is not true <sighs> yeah so I guess I'm out of an excursion tomorrow and I thought I did have one let's see what happens